can't get over the fact how beautiful this view is. What is up guys, welcome to a new video just to keep you updated. Today is the 18th of April, day 28 of my adventure and it's currently quarter to 2 p.m. And today's video is going to be letting you guys know what has been going on these past year. Where I left off in the video, Heart of Skurin, where I filmed it exactly over a year ago behind that bush. But I'm not going to go all the way over there because it's too far and I'm too lazy to go that far. I'm just going to place a tripod right here and let you guys know what has been going on. So let's get right to it. Okay, tripod all set and ready. So uh, just gonna try and keep it short as possible. Um, so as you guys know, continue on the journey after uh, being here over a year ago, after the heart of scootering, and then broke my laptop, ended my trip, which was awesome. Um, and then went back home early, which was really, Good to be back home after a year and a month traveling all over the world. It was really good being back home, seriously. It was good to see all the friends and family. Hyped as. And then basically just been hustling, just trying to save up uh, for a new laptop and basically been trying to do freelance photography work slash videographic work. Uh, I did get a job at Triad and a uh, massive shout out to Triad Scooters which is an upcoming brand at the time. Uh, now they are quite big now thanks to Billy Watts and Lockie for um, doing such a good job. As I was doing freelance work for them I was earning um, just enough to be able to uh, buy a new laptop which I went to California to buy which was um, a fun trip. Stayed there for a month uh, and then at the it was like the second last week when uh, myself and the Scooter Farm crew went to Woodward West for the farm week. Second day, well technically the first day of full riding, I broke my foot which was awesome. But nonetheless the trip wasn't amazing and it didn't ruin it at all. It was just a bummer that I couldn't continue filming as I was uh, trying to make a, a Cali video. And uh, basically uh, went back home, continue hustling, trying to earn some money. It's been quite difficult to be honest and then it was during that time when pro series happened which was awesome got to see all the international homies which i was hyped to uh catch up with everyone i uh, did some photography work as well with fusion and tried again massive shout out to tried for um helping me out after that went to singapore with my boy juzzy and max which was a really fun trip got some amazing photos and was just Good making memories with two of my best mates and then after Singapore I got a job at Scooter Heart during the busy Christmas holidays which was really convenient uh, as I was earning a lot and basically saving up for this trip right here and also all this camera gear that um, I recently purchased I basically upgraded I no longer have a 60 well, I still do, but I no longer use it. I have an A7R Mark III now with two amazing lenses, the G Master 1635 and the G Master 7200F4.0. And also a third lens, which is a ultra wide angle, AKA a fisheye, a 12 mil Lawa. It's like a Chinese brand, I believe. Um, such an amazing lens, seriously. Uh, it did take a while to save up for that, but well worth it, uh, working lots of hours at Scooter Heart. And a uh, massive shout out to Max Peters for basically letting me live at his house this uh, past year. And uh, yeah, sorry, massive shout out to his family too. Seriously, love you guys. Yeah, that's basically it. That's my entire year. Just short and simple, been hustling. Nothing's really changed, just struggling, you know, as an adult. <laughs> but other than that, the bright side is that I'm continuing riding my scooter been learning so many tricks I filmed a recent edit which will be on my YouTube channel be sure to check it out it's called Tommy Dang still exists um, I, I was really hyped to finish that video as I really wanted to make a video uh, to showcase that I can still ride and I'm gonna make another video again promoting my signature apparel so get keen guys I'm gonna be working really hard to make a awesome video for that and uh, that's basically it, just, yeah, that's my year. Once I get home, which is gonna be the current plan, I'm gonna be trying to find a full-time job. Ugh. 
hopefully get more involved with my freelance photography and um, do some work with Tom's mates, which is something I really want to um, focus on. Um, as this trip hasn't been what I expected, unfortunately, my heart and mind isn't in the right place. So this trip hasn't been quite enjoyable as I've been just too focused on um, what's going to happen when I get home, which I am trying to plan out. But so far, nothing's set on stone. Um, just some ideas. Definitely will continue writing. That's just the main focus. I really want to make a video again. That's what my mind has been on this entire trip. Just wanted to ride and film some bangers and that. So that's probably why that this trip hasn't been enjoyable. I'm just not in the right place. And yeah, unfortunately, like I mentioned in the previous three or four videos, I am not continuing on up north as it's something best for me. I will be doing that next year. Hopefully, I will be planning it for sure. I'm gonna, as soon as I get home, I'm gonna be saving every week for a hitch scooting fun and that's the plan and yeah I just want to let you guys know what's what's been going on yeah right now I just really want to focus filming writing hanging out with my friends and family as uh, this trip has been quite lonely yep quite lonely um, it's good to be heading to Tokyo on Friday as I mentioned in the previous video I'm going to be seeing my boy Jennifer, which I haven't seen for over a year. So really looking forward to seeing him and catching up with everyone again. And heading to my favorite city in the whole wide world. I'm really keen to capture some amazing um, photos, as that is something I'm really looking forward to right now. Um, I've basically done all I wanted to do here, well halfway. i still got two more spots I really want to get photos of, like during the sunset. And then that's it basically done for this area and then I'm gonna head down to Tokyo hopefully Saturday and uh, yeah that's it ah, quite short and simple I think not really it's like eight minutes I have filmed on this uh, clip sick anyways that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed it might film a bit later when it gets a bit uh, sunsetty as you can see, clouds are covering Mount Fuji, which has been quite shy to me these past few days. But this morning, it was amazing. Seriously, got some amazing flicks. I'm really looking forward to sharing with you guys. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video, which will be Friday. woo -wee! I am so hyped. Not even like... 30 minutes ago, Mount Fuji was hiding from me, but luckily, just in time for golden hour, Mount Fuji is visible. Hype does on the photos I got! Woo! And uh, yeah, that concludes today's adventure. So earlier I did mention that I might be leaving Friday, and then I also mentioned I might be leaving Saturday. It all really depends on tomorrow morning. Uh, hopefully, I would love to leave tomorrow, but we'll see, it depends on the weather. But basically, today's ride was multiple sessions, and it was, in total, 23.2 kilometers, which means, rounding it off, just 23 kilometers. And uh, yeah, day 28, done and dusted. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow in the next video. Peace out.